shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this day. We give you all the praise and the glory. We thank you because you are the reason why we are alive. We thank you for this moment, this celebration of life. We say to you all the praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit this funeral service into your hands. We ask God, God that you lead us, we direct the affairs of today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please, can we have our seats? Then for the first Bible reading, I would like to call on a member of the family, Mr. Badibo Ogubanjo, to come forward and please take the Bible reading. Mr. Badibo Ogubanjo, please come forward. This reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 to 11. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace, peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. Let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another just as you are doing also. How pleasant is your court above. Please shall we rise while we take the second hymn.
our seats. The second bag will remain be taken from also the member of the family, Mrs. Adikemi Olatimo. Mrs. Adikemi, please come forward to take the Bible reading, the second Bible reading. Now, the second lesson is taken from Revelation 21, 1 to 7. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, come down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. May the Lord bless the reading of this Thank you very much. Shall we rise and take the third hymn in three on the resurrection morning? Quiet, please. <laughs>
come and have our seats. She took the biography. Would like Mrs. Kofo Karawi to please come forward, please. Grandma's biography. Friday, 24th April, 1936, was indeed a joyous day in the illustrious and royal family of Oba Adenuga, Omoyeli Odebumi, the erstwhile Olubu of Oluja, and Olori, Adiola Omoyeli Odebumi, Ni Kukoi, of the Odebu area of Ijebuodi, a teacher, seamstress, and a businesswoman of great repute. Princess Adeshola Oluremi Adekumi was born in Oshobo in the southwestern region of Nigeria. She started her education at Ugomo Show Baptist Day Primary School, from where she had her secondary education at Kudetsi Girl School, Ibadan, mm -hmm. which later became St. Anne's School, Ibadan. In obedience to her father, she followed in her mother's footsteps in teaching and proceeded to the teacher's training college, Elisha, Washington State. She studied domestic science for her grade two teacher's certificate, but her father was dissatisfied with the course and encouraged her to get further qualifications, which she did, bagging an NCE in English and French language. She married the love of her life, Mr. Emmanuel Ayodili Amon, on the 22nd of December, 1960. Right after her wedding, she traveled to the UK with her husband, where she gave birth to her first child, Adebo Ali. They moved back to Nigeria in 1963 and were blessed with three other children, Benga, Fulola, and Folake. They had 54 beautiful years together until the Lord called him home on the 18th of September, 2015. She was also abundantly blessed with grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Since God saw that she had a large heart for more, he further blessed her with many adopted children and grandchildren. Olivia was naturally versatile, and this showed through in all that she did. She taught domestic science and later French after her NCE. Her teaching career cut across primary, secondary, and teacher's training college. She enjoyed her teaching profession as she saw it as a medium of helping other children succeed regardless of their educational background. She remained in the formal teaching profession from 1958 till 1972. She taught at Anglican Girls School, Burita Meta Ibadan, Aberdeen College Ibadan, Jibla Martins College in Conri, Lagos, and at the Jebu the Teachers Training College. After she left formal teaching in 1972, Grandma put her creativity and entrepreneurial skills to good use. She ran a number of businesses, always ahead of her time. Shawman Enterprises Limited was her business name. She sold wedding dresses and was a much sought after events planner and decorator as far back as the mid 70s. Her shop on Louis Street, opposite Sandros Market, was a beehive of activities. Apart from wedding dresses and accessories, she also traded in lace fabrics imported from Austria, Switzerland, and England. Grandma was a natural carer and helper who had a penchant for seeking solutions to other people's problems because she always wanted people to be happy. In reaction to the challenges faced by working mothers in finding or organizing reliable and suitable childcare for her children, she set up Shulman Daycare Center in her home in GRA. She later ventured into the business of exhi um, exhibiting and selling artworks by establishing Shulman Art Gallery. This venture was birthed again out of a desire to help upcoming artists when one complained of lack of patronage and poor returns on the hard work put into creating the art pieces. She bought them from him and sold them to some expatriates and so started another venture. She was well grounded in the knowledge of the scriptures 
having lived with a clergy family at a very tender age. Her faith continued under the tutelage of her mother, who was a member of the Apostolic Faith Church. After marriage, she became a member of the Methodist Church and subsequently a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Her daily morning devotions with her domestic staff and household were legendary, sometimes lasting for over an hour as she encouraged all to participate. During the lockdown, she joined a number of her children and grandchildren across the world for a weekly Bible study online. Grandma was a digital grandma. Grandma and Mommy Jerry, as she was fondly called, was a devout Christian and an ardent believer in Jesus Christ. She devoted her life to helping others, which she took very seriously. She will be greatly missed by her family, both immediate and extended, and friends. She loved and served without expecting anything back in return. Her greatest satisfaction came from seeing people and processes improve and knowing that God would be glorified. She displayed a strong and rare faith in Christ. One could not be more convinced that in Christ alone her hope was found. She was a true servant leader. She poured out herself in service to humanity through institutions such as the Methodist Church of Nigeria, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Divine Glory Christian Church, Christ Living, Living, Living Spring Apostolic Ministry, CLAM, Elders Time Together, French Bible Coffee, Salvation International School, Sunnydale School, Rosecroft Preparatory School, J. Nysai School, and a host of other institutions. She was an avid lover of children. She loved endlessly all the children the Lord had committed to her care, both biological and adopted, and dutifully raised them in the fear and way of the Lord. Her parting statement, whenever she was bidding anyone by, was, I love you, darling. She showed respect and love to every person, irrespective of age, background, or social standing. Even though she was connected to the high and mighty, and always had a listening ear and an open door for everyone. She was very humble, always willing to go the extra mile to help others. She loved to smile, loved to care for people, and always had an encouraging word and prayer. Her faith in the Lord never diminished, and the word of the Lord was her anchor. She sent texts daily to encourage her family and friends, and was always eager to share an encouraging word to uplift people. She contributed constantly to the peace and progress of her family, both nuclear and extended, her community, and never failed to leave a positive impact on the lives of all those with whom she came in contact. She was very active in the support of the underprivileged. Her home was always the beehive of activity, belonging to everyone and no one in particular. She maintained a high standard of integrity and wholly held on to the Bible truth that a good name is better than riches. Grandma fought the good fight of faith and had a gentle transition to the beyond on Monday the 18th of January 2021. Now she has gone to rest. She will be sorely missed, but we are consoled by the knowledge that absence in the body is presence with Christ, and now she can sing tend the flowers, and just be with her maker. Rest in peace, dear mother. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for that. Thank you very much. Now it's time for the word. Um, to bring us the word, it's um, one of our fathers in the Lord, the pastor in charge of Zoom, Salvation Center Zoom. Uh, Pastor Emmanuel Uluayini, please let him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, first of all, let me appreciate our senior pastors that are here this afternoon. And also let me appreciate the children of Mama 
that are physically here and those that are joining us online. I want to appreciate all the family members that are here, all the well-wishers, church members that are here. We thank you for coming. One more time, I want to thank the children of Mama. Before Mama passed on, we saw the good care that you had for Mama. I pray that God will take care of you. Amen. After Mama passed on, since Tuesday, we saw the beautiful arrangement of programs you are put in place to give Mama a befitting burial. I pray that God will beautify your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, it's time to look into the word of God. Shall we bow down our heads? Pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. Thank you because your word is settled in heaven. Lord, we are gathered here for this brief ceremony. No more for Mama, for, for those of us who are still alive. We ask that at this moment, please send your word and let your word comfort us. Amen. Send your word, O oh Lord, and let your word strengthen us. Amen. Send your word to us, O oh Lord, and let it show us the way forward in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I will be taking the Bible reading from uh, the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 2. I will take some few uh, verses there from verse 1. And it came to pass in the month Nisan, in the 20th year of Atasosa, the king, the wine was brought before him, and I took up the wine, gave it unto the king. Now I had not been bedridden and in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is the countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very so afraid. And I said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad when the city, the place of my father's sepulchre, lie waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Then the king said unto me, for what dost thou make request? So I pray to the God of heaven. And I said unto the king, If it please the king, and if thy servant has found favor in thy sight, that thou wilt send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchre, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, The queen also sitting by, by him, for how long shall thy journey be, and when will thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. I will be sharing with us briefly. It's a question. Uh, how long will your journey be? How long will my journey be? And when will you return? This was the question that this king asked Nehemiah. But that question is for us this afternoon. How long will your journey be? And when will you return? Life is a journey. And the journey begins when you are born, when we are born. The journey ends on earth the day a person dies. And that's why Solomon captured it in a very beautiful way, perfectly, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 2. He said, there is a time to be born and a time to die. 
The milestone of the journey of life is measured in years. You know, when you go on journey, you start counting the kilometer or the, the mile. But the milestone of the journey of life is measured in years. That's why Jacob, when he came to Pharaoh, he told Pharaoh that the days of my years of my pregnancy are a hundred and thirty years. He said, few and evil have the days of the years of my life been, and I have not attained unto the day of the years of my father in the day of their pilgrimage. Now, in that statement, it tells us that life is a journey. We are on a pilgrimage. We are on, on a journey. And if life is a journey, then there must be a destination. Because at the end of every journey, you will arrive at a destination. So because every journey terminates in the destination, where is your own destination? That is another question for us this afternoon. But the Bible made it very clear to us. The scripture made it clear in the book of Luke 16, 22 to 23, that after the journey of life is either your destination is eternity in heaven or eternity in hell. I pray you will not spend your eternity in hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So what we do here on earth, while the journey we are still on this journey, or what we refuse to do in the course of our journey, we determine where we spend our eternity. Now, the reality of this fact made Solomon to give an advice, not only to his children, but to all of us. In the book of Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1, he said, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. We are on our own journey. Mama has gone on her own journey. Mama is asked now, how long will your journey be? She is the only one that could answer over there that my journey lasted for 84 years. Praise the Lord. So, Solomon was telling us, while we are still on our own journey, we should remember our creator. He said, when the evil days had not come, because the time is coming, you want to do what God asks you to do, but the energy will have gone. The strength is no more there. He said, when the strength and energy and vigor is gone, that is in the evening of this uh, journey. But he now went further in verse 7, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7. He said, before the dust returns to the earth, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. At the end of the journey, the dust will return to us, and then the spirit goes back to God that gave it. The king asked Nehemiah when he was going for his journey. Nehemiah had a purpose. He was going for that purpose. And then the king asked him this question. How long will your journey be? And when will you return? God, who is the king of kings, is asking you and I today how long will your journey be and when will you return? The question comes to you and me. Mama's journey lasted 84 years. We have been reading and we have been hearing about Mama since Tuesday. And all we, we, we heard about this woman is good things. So her own journey was very, very eventful. She fulfilled her purpose. She imparted life. She touched people's life. Both young and old, we can give that testimony. So, the question is, your own journey continues. How long will it be? When will you return? You're not able to, to, to answer that question now. But, the Bible told us that Nehemiah, when he has looked at all the purpose that he was going for that journey, he said, he set the time with the king. Can I tell you, 
all of us, by the time God was creating you, he created you for a purpose, and the time for you to return was set over there. When the time comes, we have nothing to utter it. We will go back. I pray that at the time, it will be your own time, you will have fulfilled your purpose in the name of Jesus. Amen. For some, their journey will be fairly long. For some, it might be short. What is important is that keep all the commandments of your creator. Fulfill the purpose for which he has sent you so that when you return, we will spend eternity with him in heaven. Death is not the greatest tragedy. No. I know everybody fear death. If I ask you now, how many of us want to go to heaven? We will all put our hands up. If I say, how many of us want to die? Nobody wants to. We want to get to heaven, but we don't want to die. Death is the greatest fear of man. But death is not the greatest tra tragedy of life. The greatest tragedy of life is a life that ends without fulfillment of purpose. And that's why I pray that prayer for you again. You will fulfill your purpose before you leave this world in Jesus' name. Amen. Death may not be, may, may be the end of the journey here on earth, but death is not the end of the story of man. No, particularly if we are a true Christian. Because Paul told us in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 that we have nothing to fear. If I sit here this afternoon and you are fearing death, Paul was telling us we have nothing to fear. No matter how we die, when and where, and no matter the physical condition at the moment of death, there is a promise of God for you which cannot be broken. And that promise, you can find it in the book of 2 Corinthians 5, verse 1, as I'm landing up now. He said, when the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hand. Our body is likened to the tent. Tent is not something that endure forever. A building is stronger than tent. A building endures forever if it is well built. Praise the Lord. So for children of God, you know, when you think about what the body that we are putting on now is the tent. It will weaken. As we get old, it wears out. It wears out. It, it turns out. It's weakened. The teeth be, begin to fall out. The, the eyes be, begin to dim. Memory begins to fail. Our ankles can no more carry us. Our legs are no more strong to carry us. That is the tent. It wears out. But God is telling us, when this tent you know, is destroyed, there is a building for you in heaven. That is... You will now take on the eternal, you know, body over there, which cannot be destroyed. For the children of God, death is a trading. It's a trading of the tent to receive the building which is not built by hand. Praise the Lord. We know that we will, we will not have to live in the tent forever. Tent will be replaced with building. It is from God. The building is from God. <clears throat> it is not made with hand. It is eternal. It is heavenly. Therefore, let us encourage ourselves in the Lord with assurance that we will meet Mama again at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ, where there is eternal life. So the children of Mama, because all this sermon is not for Mama again, it's for those of us who are here. You should, be, you should not be sad. Mama lived a good life. He ran a good race. She finished strong. She finished well. And my prayer is that you too, you will finish strong and you will finish well. Amen. She lived a life of a true Christian. Her good works were apparent. She battled life. She was a peacemaker, lover of poor, of the poor and the underprivileged. A soul winner. That's what we know about this mama. That's what we know about 
She has instructed you, and we could see it in your life. He has brought you up in the way and in the fear of the Lord. My advice to you this afternoon, those of you here and the people listening to me wherever, all over the world, my advice to you, children of Mama, be like the Rechabites. Be like the Rechabites. The Rechabites, they head on to destruction of their forefathers. Their forefathers told them, don't build house, don't, don't take wine. And they pass on that instruction to their generations and generations yet unborn. By the time they were recounting about the life of the Rechabites in the book of Jeremiah chapter 35, when Jeremiah was using the Rechabites as an example to the children of Israel to preach to them why they should stay with the instruction and commandment of God, it was already 200 years. But the Rechabites, they kept strictly to the instruction of their forefathers. And because of that, they were not Israelites. They were not of the chosen generation. Because of that, God noticed it and said, I will bless the Rechabites because they adhere to the instruction of their forefathers. I, 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 I implore you, I urge you, children of Mama, please keep the instruction. Keep everything good that Mama has done. Keep it. Pass it on to generations, even the ones that are yet to be born. And it will be well with you in the name of Jesus. I commend you this day to God. I commend you to the word of God, which is able to make you perfect. I commend you that God Almighty will bless you. I commend you to the same God that he will bless you with long life. He will bless you with good health. He will bless you with the blessing of heaven. He will bless you with the blessing of the earth. He will bless your generation. He will bless your going out. He will bless your coming in. He will bless the work of your hand in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the end, you will make it to heaven. And the name of God will be glorified in your life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy, for the word. Now it's time to pray for the family. And we would like all the family members to come out. And to lead the prayer for the family, it's um, our father, uh, an assistant pastor in charge of province, Pastor Steve Mayo. Please let's pray for Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And just rise to your feet, mm -hmm. children of Mama. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We give honor to you. First of all, we thank you for a good life well lived by our grandma. We thank you, O oh God, for the strength, for the grace, Lord, for the favor that she had with you. Daddy, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the children are standing, O oh God, in this congregation today before all men. And Lord, we are committing them into your hands. We are asking that just as grandma found favor with you, let them also find favor with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are asked, Lord, you gave grandma grace. Father, let them find grace with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are asked, oh Lord, you walk with grandma. You strengthen her. And everything that she was doing, Father, you were there with her. Father, I pray today for these children of grandma. Father, please 
be with them. Amen. Let their testimony be that God is with us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let them see you. Amen. Everywhere they go. Amen. Let them see you. Amen. In everything they do. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we were with grandma. Lord. As a mighty rock. So you will be with the children. Amen. They shall not be afraid. Amen. And no one shall make them to be afraid. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you will cause them to go from grace to grace. Amen. You will cause them to grow from height to height. Amen. From one level to the higher level. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are as we have testimony today that grammar was great. Indeed, I personally have not met a woman, a woman so great. I pray that, Lord, every one of the children will exceed her Amen. in character, Amen. in service unto Amen. you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, your good hand will rest upon them, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray today that every one of these children, Father, they will know you. Amen. And their children are born will know you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, it is a testimony that grandma finished well. Let every one of these children finish well. Amen. Let none of them fall by the wayside. Amen. Every power and every allurement of the world that we want, oh God, to, to pull them aside. We rebuke in Jesus' name. Amen. Uphold them. Amen. Keep them. Amen. Lord, shower your love upon them. Amen. Guide them step by step, Amen. day by day. Amen. My Father, never leave them alone. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And let it be well with them. Amen. Thank you, our Father. Blessed, blessed be your name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord for Jesus. Thank you very much, Daddy. Now it's time to give appreciation. I would like to call Dr. B. Ogubanjo to please come and give appreciation on behalf of the family. Doctor, welcome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That hallelujah is not strong enough. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. I would like to start the, this appreciation to the Almighty Father. Since we started the planning of this program, he has been with us. And we give him thanks and praise. For those of you who don't know, the, my wife and her brother and sisters have been having these meetings and planning as early as 5 a.m., which is 4 a.m. in England. And to God be the glory, today is the last day of the program, and I would like to give thanks to the Almighty God. Secondly, I would like to appreciate all the pastors here present, both from the Redeemed Church, Salvation Parish, of which Mama was a very strong and staunch member, to uh, the pastor in charge of Divine Glory Christian Church. Please wave your hand, Pastor Fadehi. And um, our darling reverend gentleman who is always quietly seated, the leader of the caravan, reverend. Are you now at the king of the singing ministries, reverend Bassi? I'd like to thank, why am I thanking you people? We are all children of Mama, so why am I thanking you? But of course, I have to thank you all for finding time out of all your busy schedules to be with Mama to give this 
glorious um, exit because Mama was good. Mama was good. Can we please show our appreciation to Mama? Can we please appreciate? She was good. She was good. She was good. She was good. Thank you, thank you. Please. For she was a jolly good friend. No, for she was a jolly good fellow. And so say all. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. He was a jolly good fellow. For she was a jolly good For she was a jolly Three hearty cheers to our grandma. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you very much for being here. And as we commit her body, May the good Lord grant her eternal rest and rest and abide with all of us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Let's put our together for Doctor. Thank you very much, Doctor B. Ogubanjo. Now, um, on behalf of my father and alone, I want to appreciate and recognize all the men of God and ministers of God in the house. Wherever you are, you are recognized. Thank you for coming and God bless you. Praise the living Jesus. Well, I would like to use this privilege. Even um, my mama was such a very wonderful woman. And there's one thing I, back then, I would put myself in the category of a grandchild to her. Um, whenever, back then, whenever I need money, I would just go and greet mama and stay with her for a long time. <laughs> And so when I'm going, I'm just doing 500 manually. So that's part of the kind art that Mama has. Not only to celebrate, praise the living just she will surely be means. Now, the recessional aim, we'll be taking the recessional aim, and we'll follow this order. While the recessional aim is going on, the choir will lead first, followed by all ministers of God, the officiating minister and all the ministers, then the cops, then followed by the family members, then every other guest will follow the suit. That's the choir, the officiating ministers and other ministers of God, the cops, the family members and other guests. Choir, please. So, um, Sarah knows where we're going to bury Mama. She will lead us as well. Okay.
Don't reverse. You no know, tell me say don't reverse. Where pass the mic? Where pass the mic? Where am I? Keep why I in one lane now. But one day, we must stay in one for yen. Eh, what you having to do? All right. All right, man. 
Si tá com o outro, é o Mitri Milho. Tá vindo em cima, ah. Mitri Milho. É, si tá com o outro ali. Ah, mas que vai ter. Gaga, é cá que nem. É cá que nem. É cá. A te deve dar uma... Come. Come at this edge, not in the middle. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sir. You need to excuse us. Why did you ask? Okay, when they bring the. Oh, yeah. No, the head is going to be here. The head is here. The head is here. So turn it around. Uh, Okay. This will take the in, sit on the low, sit and take the rest. Fire, please. Take 10 on the pavement.
Uh, a lot for us to ponder upon from those messages, especially the one we have this afternoon at the funeral service. You are on a journey here, and we'll end it someday, only to transit. I want to thank God for Grandma's life. And like I said in my prayer, when I was praying for the children. I've never met a woman. I've never met a woman. I'm specific. A woman so great, so light-hearted. I give God the glory for meeting her. Praise the Lord. It's a challenge to me personally. Can I ever be like grandma? So accommodating, so accommodating. Can I ever be like her? I wish I can. Praise God. But that is a legacy she has left for us to emulate. And I pray that her life will continue to challenge us in whatever situation we find ourselves. Lastly, I want to remind us that uh, by the time we finish the interment, one of the random procedures is that we will be Grandma Goodnight. In the Redemptive Center of God, we don't pour sand on our departed loved ones. We simply wave them good night. Praise the Lord. And uh, we will follow the procedure. The youngest in the family here will do that, and they will go on that order until the eldest in the family here will say good night, and then all of us will finally wait to grandma and say good night. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Man that is born, woman, is a few days on earth and full of trouble. He grows and is hewed down as the flower of grasses. He passes away like a shadow without staying in the place. In the midst of life, we stay in death. From whom shall we seek help? But from you, O Lord, who is justified to be anointed because of our sins. Lord God, most high, almighty God, holy Savior, and the most merciful, do not put us in a painful agony of everlasting death. Lord, you know the secret things of our hearts. Do not be deaf unto our prayers. Most holy God, holy Savior, and the most merciful, spear us. You are the most righteous judge. Do not allow us to fall away from you because Amen. Sorry, who is lowering the who is lowering the body? Yeah, go on. 
Go on. Yeah, yeah. Hello. As it pleases the Almighty God, in His great mercy, to receive the soul of our dear grandma, Princess Adesha Laudurem Amman, who has left this place and, of a fact, without doubting, the hope of resurrection into life everlasting through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall transform our poor bodies into his own likeness, which is according to the mighty works by which he could subdue all principalities by himself. And I had joy. Yes, see that spirit. 
that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Thank you. Take out the river. In Jesus' name. Brethren, this is the last. As far as we can go with drama, this is the very last. And so, any the youngest in the family will be drama. Good night. So, if you want to talk, you can take the mic from me. And be drama. Good night. And wait. No, Sunke, no. See you later. Aha. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye, Jama. <laughs> Good night, Jama. Till we make the part no more. Amen. Everybody, good night. Grandma, good night. Amen. God bless you. That's why it's a soul. Thank you, Assistant. Thank you. 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 Shall we gather at the river, where bright is the feet of troll, we increase the tide forever, flowing by the truth of grace. Shall we gather, yes, we gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful, the throne of God, on the margin of the river, washing up his silver spray, we will walk and worship forever, for the happy golden day, shall we gather, yes, we gather for the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river, yeah, with the sense of river that flows by the throne of God. And we reach the shining river, lay we every burden down. Grace our spirits will be. So we reach the shining river, so the pilgrimage.
and to see. So now happy hearts with Queen Power with the melody of peace. Shall we gather? Yes, we gather at the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river. The flows by the throne. On that happy Easter morning, all the graves the dragon saw. Father, mother, sister, brother, midnight was for us. Shall we gather? Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. concerning them, both home and abroad, let it be good report. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy Amen. name, Lord. Hallelujah. All of us saying Amen. On the day when the Lord will appear, none of us will be left behind. Amen. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share the grace with the grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord will go with you in Jesus' name. Okay.
we, we thank you all, those of us who are watching you, us from on, online. Uh, God will abide with you all. Thank you for, for supporting us at this point in time. God bless you. Thank you very much.